sure. All right, reaction rates and chemical equilibrium. So let's talk about this and what's going on here. Okay, objective and let's get into this. Oops. All right, reactant versus product, just to warm up, is showing you what's the reactant versus what's the product. The product is on the right side telling you what has been made, the new product that has been made during the reaction. Chemical reaction, a process that involves the rearrangement of atoms, molecules, and or both to form new substances. Okay, reactant. A substance that is present at the beginning of a chemical reaction is transformed by the reaction. Product, a substance formed in a chemical reaction. Reaction rate, the rate at which the reactions are used up or products are formed in a chemical reaction. Energy, the property of a body or system that enables it to do work or cause change. Okay, so energy here. As you can see, what is going on with the reaction? Activation energy, um, minimum amount of energy needed to start a chemical reaction. So what is needed to start a chemical reaction, basically? Concentration, the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent or solution. Temperature and reaction rate. Okay, catalyst would be something, a substance that lowers the activation of energy and the um, of reaction, otherwise not part of the reaction. Okay, statements that are true about catalysts. Um, catalysts increase the rate of reaction. Catalysts decrease the activation energy of a reaction. Catalysts show no physical change at the end of the reaction. Okay, chemical equation. Again, symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. Hydrogen fuel, it just describes this article, it just describes hydrogen fuel, what it does. It's a different alternative for fuel here. Okay, so what is it, the purpose of a catalyst and the product of hydrogen? To increase the rate at which the water molecule is decomposed or water molecules decompose. Reversible reactions here. So it shows the water cycle, basically. It can be reversed because you have evaporation, condensation, precipitation. It's just one big cycle that is constantly going on, kind of like a big circle. You've seen the water cycle before, and this is just reversible. It's always go going to keep going and won't stop. Another reversible reaction, um, chemical reaction that occurs simultaneously in the forward and reverse. So it's always going on. It can go forward and backwards, something like that. This is an example of sodium carbonate. This just gives you an example. Let me do this on your own. Chemical equilibrium now. A state of reversible reaction in which the same, the forward and reverse reactions occur at the same rate uh, and the quantities of re the reactant and product do not change. So that'd be an example of chemical equilibrium. Shows a graph that would show you here's the uh, product versus the reactant. Okay, let's, uh, here's another one. Shows you salt. Okay, statements true about reversible reactions. Um, it says reversible reactions exhibit the same reaction for forward and reverse reactions, and they exhibit the constant concentrations of reactants and products at equilibrium. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next part. Just give you a couple examples here. And a couple more examples. 
it just goes over chemical reactions and shows you a few things. Exothermic reaction, a chemical reaction that releases energy. Endothermic would be absorbs energy. So exothermic releases, endothermic absorbs. Hopefully that clears it up a little bit and gives you a better understanding. 